What else do you see? What's this, Evelyn? We have one of these outside. We play with it in the summer. Oh! Yeah, that was in the ocean. So remember we talked about what can't we put in the ocean? Meet the giant sea life sculptures who made their way to the Oregon Zoo. So this is Seymour the sea lion pup. Built with plastic that made its way to the ocean and washed ashore. Someone's sunglasses in here. Uh, this looks like the handle of a shaver, perhaps. You'll see flip-flops. Flip-flops. Artist Angela Hasseltine Posey designed these sea animals hurt by pollution. Each volunteer helps. The zoo's conservation learning program manager, Tom Gaskell, knows they provide a unique educational opportunity. It came off the shoe and it went out into the ocean and it washed ashore. So all of this stuff is from the ocean? It's garbage from the ocean. It's plastic garbage what? from the ocean. Wow. I know. We have so much plastic in the world, it and it's ending it up in the oceans. It's ending up in our waterways, and we need, to, we need to stop that. We need to change the way that we use plastic, the way that we think about plastic. There's Daisy the polar bear. So she wanted people to think about polar bears and think about plastic and say, should polar bears be eating plastic? Should they have plastic where they live? There's Chompers the shark. Tiger sharks have been found with tires, license plates, and plastic debris in their stomachs. Do you know what this is? Light up. Yeah. An entire sea jelly bloom made of plastic bottles. We want guests to think about, to look at that plastic, spend some time with the sculpture, and really think about where did this come from? How did this get into our oceans? Why is it here? Gaskill wants visitors to interact and engage, but also change their habits. Single-use plastic is something we can get out of our lives, right? We can reuse things. Uh, we can create new opportunities for reusable containers that aren't plastic. We can be better about recycling the right things. We're talking about potentially, if we don't do anything to change it by 2050, there will be more plastic in the oceans than fish. We can all step up. That's out of control. We've got to stop. The good news here, I think, is that we can make this change. We were the ones who caused this in the beginning. That means it's in our control to make the change and to stop these things from happening. Morgan Romero, KGW News.